There are certain terminal points we need to know. We'll start with the terminal point determined by pi over 4. So we know that pi over 4 is halfway between 0 and pi over 2. So if we draw a line from the origin to this point, that's a straight line, and then we drop a perpendicular down to form a right angle, we have this triangle. Okay, so let's draw this triangle over here. We know that this is a right angle. We already established that this angle right here is pi over 4. And what's pi over 4 in radians? Well, let's see. We know that a right triangle is 90 degrees. We know that pi over 4 is half of this angle, so half of 90 degrees is 45 degrees. And we know that, again, a right, tri a right angle is 90 degrees, and the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So to find this last angle, we need to know 180 minus 45 minus 90 leaves us with 45 degrees. Okay, so now we can determine what, if we can think of this as, remember, this is the x value, the length of that. This right here is the y coordinate, because we go over x to get to there, we go up y to get to there. So we need to know this length and this length, okay? So using this triangle, how can we determine those lengths? Well, if this angle and this angle are equal, that means that x equals y. And so using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that the hypotenuse, let's call this h, we know that x squared plus y squared equals h squared. We know, we've already established that our unit circle has a radius of 1, so h is equal to 1. So we have, let's get some more space, we have x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. We know that x equals y, so we can write this as x squared plus x squared equals 1. So combining these, we have 2x squared equals 1, so x squared equals 1 half. All right, so now we need to take the square root of both sides. So we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 half. Because when we take the square root, we have to have the, both the plus and minus. And so we know that x is either equal to the square root of 1 half or negative square root of 1 half. Right. But when you most commonly see this written, we do not like to have a square root in the denominator. So to rewrite this, we can separate our square roots. The square root of 1 is 1, so 1 over the square root of 2. Again, we do not like a square root in the denominator, so we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 2. So we get square root of 2, oops, square root of 2 times square root of 2 gives me 2. So this is how we're going to write this. So either x is equal to square root of 2 over 2, or negative square root of 2 over 2. So how do we determine which one it is? Well, if we're going this way, then x is positive. So our x's are positive. So x is going to be positive square root of 2 over 2. So we know that x is equal to y. So y is equal to square root of 2 over 2 as well. All right. And we know that we can confirm that y is positive because going up, we're positive. 
So the point, the terminal point here is square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Using similar methods, we can determine other important terminal points. So we already know that pi over 4, the terminal point is square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2. So now let's determine pi over 3. So pi over 3. So when we drop down and go over across, we get that sort of triangle. Again, this is a 90 degree triangle. Okay. And now we know that the radius is 1. And we know that pi over 3, pi over 3 is what? A third of pi. Pi is 180 degrees divided by 3. So that gives me 60 degrees. So this one is 30 degrees. Okay. So if this is our x, remember we go over x and we go up y to get to our point. We need to determine what x and y are. We know x squared plus y squared equals 1 from the Pythagorean theorem. But then we get stuck. So our trick is we are going to turn this into an equilateral triangle. So we copy this same triangle over. So we have 30 and 60. So now this whole is 60. If we're looking at the bigger triangle, we have 60, 60, 60. So all the sides are the same. So this length is length 2x, this length is 2x, and this length is 2x, but we already know that that side is 1. So we know that 2x equals 1. So x is 1 half. So now to get y, we're going to plug that in there. So 1 half squared plus y squared equals 1. So 1 fourth plus y squared equals 1. So then we get y squared equals 1 minus a fourth. So y squared, you need a common denominator. So we can think of this as 1 over 1. Multiply top and bottom by 4. 4 over 4 minus 1 fourth gives me y squared equals 3 fourths. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. Again, remember we need plus and minus. Square root of 3 over 4. We can take the square root of the top and the square root of the bottom. So y equals square root of 3 over square root of 4 is 2. And we just need to know if it's plus or minus. So Again, going up, y is positive. Going this way, x is positive. So x is 1 half, and y is positive square root of 3 over 2. So that gives me my terminal point at pi over 3 is 1 half square root of 3 over 2. And we can do something very similar for pi over 6 to get square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. So those are our important angles that we need to know.